Hey everyone, this is Artemis Dolgan with Golden Aesthetics and Legend himself, the Black Prince, Black Robinson. We're in the oldest gym in the county, Prince Gym. Uh, big shout out to this gym. This is one of the most amazing facilities I've ever been to. It kept this really genuine feel to it, really old school feel. And I wanted to record this series, the training series with the legends of pure knowledge. The holy grail of bodybuilding is right here in front of you. And we're sharing it with you so you can craft your physique with something that is going to be legendary, something that's going to leave legacy behind. And we're going to start with the uh, back training today. I held from Freedom Hill on my feet, I stand in what used to be Felines and Reebok Stam. I would meet you at the weed spot, but we got grams enough. Doc couldn't detox, so need our plan to squeeze off, man, if we not fan. My body's always responded to exercises and executions uh, very well because of body positioning. And I think that's where it's kind of gotten lost in bodybuilding. Everybody just grabbed the weight and they moved the weight. But actually it should be a position that you have your body in so the muscle can be activated. So that the muscle can grow and be stimulated and grow. So me, I always try to warm up any kind of back stuff back day. I always try to warm up both the hamstrings, the cheeks, and the lower back. And my whole take on it is placing that body in that position where the body is doing all the work. The muscles are doing all the work. Where I see a lot of people just going up and down. To me, that's just, it's not, there's no muscle mind to muscle contact. And it's very important if you're trying to build your body. So you can't just come up there. You can come, go down and come up, but you're not going to develop any muscle. So my whole contact is, is to lower myself into that position, extend myself so the lower back really gets that whole set in there, the V tape, hamstring, cheek. Once I lower myself into that position, my whole thing is to use the muscles to come up and contract. I want to see myself in the mirror, and I'm thinking about all those muscles that are being involved in this movement. I keep my reps anywhere between 10 and 20, sometimes 30, because you're working a whole complex of muscles. I try to use the muscle, mind to muscle connection, contracting and squeezing that muscle. Non-fiction, the bad boy piston, he fly the bird. If he a Christian, what is this? He got the earth, 93 million miles away, Glock and a purse. I got the nerve, yeah, I know I ought to serve. Everybody looking for a fix. If you see someone up here roaring up here, to me, you're not going to have a great bag. It's not possible. Because the bicep is going to be doing a lot more of the work. Trapeze is going to take over. But if you got your body in a barbell position, uh, position, where your feet are basically placed under that bar, you got your body into that back. The back has to be flat. The back can't be up here if you're talking to develop a great back like Franco or myself, uh, a number of other people. You have to kind of get down into it. You have to find that bar, the grip. Once you find that bar and the grip, it's pulling. It's one of them. It's two. That's three of them. That's four. It's five of them. Six. This is not a curse chip on my collar shirt. Bless manifest my destiny. Yep, without the church. Amen. Whose son's making a living? Done chasing the chicken, but stash cake in the kitchen. Some hate it, we kick it. These bones basically sicken. Not a part of my body, God, too big for tripping, huh? My alley different level and a different mindset when you truly understand the movement and you truly can connect that weight with the muscle you're working on that takes the mind of an artist and when you're in the set this is the only place you gotta be you gotta be in that in, set into that set into that rap into that rap God, tell them I was high when you see me resurrect Malcolm X raise my Kundalini genocide couldn't pry me out the black beanie still tap the bottle of Moscato I want to always be doing the impossible with my physique. I always want to be able to create, create it and make it look different. And I know the exercises. I've been in this business well, for 50, 60 years. So I know exactly what to do if, I want, if I'm working with Especially someone to get their body to change. Years of the approach that you have. You know what I mean? Deep approach. Oh, yeah. So you went you know, all the way into bodybuilding. I you love the sport. Yes. I love the art form of it. I love what you can do with your body if you use this. <laughs> because this is the key. If you're not using this and you're just using this, then you're not going to get very far. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God that you're going to have to praise your shoulders. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm talking about a piece of art. Each time I do a rep, each time I do a set, I'm thinking the most incredible physique ever. Yeah, it's not, it's not for the people that just want to flax off. 
the beach and show their biceps. This is much deeper. Much deeper. Much deeper. Yeah. And that's the level you have to be on if you take your body and your mind self to if you want to like be successful at it. Yeah. You're not going to be successful at a pity panty. That's not going to work. Tracy Gandhi, you going to have to brace your shoulders. Ooh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And what I'll do is, is contract and lift my elbow. It's one of them. But what this does, it works a lot. It makes this part come out. And the more you squeeze your arms and punch your elbows toward the ceiling, and when you're going back, you flex all the muscles in your back. You just, you'll feel exactly what I'm doing. Here, put your hands on my, what I do is I, here? on my back, put, put your hands in the middle of the back. Ready? Right come on down. Right I'm pushing and lifting my chest up. Put an abdominal in and a costa, and I push on this back. What that does is create separation in between the muscle group. So it makes the back look wider. Yeah, exactly. Tracy Gandhi, you gonna have to brace your shoulders. Ooh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tracy Gandhi, you gonna have to brace your shoulders. But I never, never heard or came across anyone that does this type of thing between sides. It's more of a weight thing. Yeah. Everybody weight, weight, weight. Weight, no, no. Because you, you kind of get obsessed with getting bigger. Bigger. And that's what you connect weight to. But as, a, as an artist, it's a completely different thing. Just listen to this. It yeah. takes you into a little bit different direction and aspect of bodybuilding. It's yeah. much bigger than bodybuilding. <laughs> bodybuilding, exactly. Why you two got niggas fooled? Fuck the name, name. I'm just trying to get us sus free like Sin Cake. Whole lot of followers, a lot less leading. When y'all niggas gonna realize you can't hashtag freedom. Ha this is my favorite exercise. One of my favorite exercises. Once I sit down into here, my knees are slightly bent. I got all the weight on the heels and the ball of my feet. My toes might be curled over the end a little bit. And what I do is it's that position. You see, a lot of people go like this. If you're doing like this, then you're not going to really hit the back muscle. You have to be like that so that you got an upper back arch. As the weight is pulling you forward, pulling you forward, pulling you forward, pulling you forward, you pull it and lift yourself up, one of them. Hashtag free my nigga when you know he did it. Make us look ignorant. Don't end his business as a coach. Now we back. It's very important to, to pull that handle near the waistline and lift your chest up. You don't want to just pull the weight, pull the weight to you. To his point, you want to pull the weight to you and lift your chest up. That contracts the whole back. It makes it look like a heart. Your arms are hooks. Your, hung, your, hung, your hands are hooks, and you're supposed to be pulling with the elbow and lifting yourself up. The hands are hooked. That's all you're, you're just holding on, squeezing that bar. The more you squeeze that bar, the stronger you can get. To like Al Roker, I'm just trying to get us on track like locomotives. Cut your soul like what's the motive? I just hope you remain focused on what the goal is. God body, young Marcus Garvey, my mama said. Hood's profit, I'm hood's topic. Two years later. And that sounds similar, but on this one, because you're, you're putting it down to your chest, there's another little technique you add to this to help work the muscles more into this area of the body, of the back. When you're putting the hand down, the whole thing is, is to lift your chest up and bend into the bar. That forces all of this to work a little bit harder. Because actually when you turn around and the guy say, last spread, you got that extra piece hanging out there. That's what is happening. And it also affects the uh, posterior real delta. Like I'm just trying to get us on track like locomotives. Cut your soul like what's the motive? down front and back is all the detail in the upper back muscle all the detail across the upper back so my whole focus is, is on incredible burn because i'm gone maybe off the liquor or maybe in the 86 caprice with a lift kit either way it goes i'm lifted but niggas ice One. out to the t like they lift it dumbing down their lyrics Two. just to get some recognition i be in the booth like craig mack kicking flavor in your system uh be on what you do let it burn Fuck the metaphors, hope the truth make you listen
Listen. One of the best signature collections. <laughs> Black Prince. Oh yeah. Robert Robert Definitely. Is out on my website. You gotta get it. You gotta so get it. Get get a copy of this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As I said, this is a holy grail bodybuilding. This is how you become great. You become legendary. Yeah. This is how you won classic physique shows. Exactly. You learn from the best. Thank you. And this is real bodybuilding. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Have you. Take guys. Hallelujah.